The Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Can we make the impossible possible? What is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Well, it's the world's largest collection of floating trash in the Pacific Ocean. All manner of debris has accumulated in this region. In recent decades, however, the amount of garbage has increased exponentially with human population growth and the use of plastic-based products. Opposing theories exist on what to do about this floating mass of waste. Some claim it's impossible to clean up and others hold on to hope. So how can we fix this ocean pollution danger? Before that question is answered, a quick overview of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is needed. So let's start out by talking about how the Great Pacific Garbage Patch was formed. There are four main ocean currents that swirl in a clockwise direction in the Pacific Ocean. These currents include an area of about 7.7 .7 million square miles. The currents are always swirling. As they swirl, they pull in nearby trash. Then the trash gets trapped in the center of the patch. The trash gets trapped and can't leave because the water is calm in the center of the patch. Finally, all the trash and waste joins with the massive body of floating trash. Did you know the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is one of five such ocean trash patches? So what is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch made of? Well, it's made of just about everything and anything. Shipwrecks and spills cause things from sneakers to bath toys to sports equipment, all to end up in the ocean. Plastic in all its varieties is another primary culprit. Discarded fishing gear also embodies a large portion of the floating mass. One example of major ocean pollution in the patch is something called ghost nets. Ghost nets are fishing nets that have been lost or cut by fishermen. Experts estimate that there are roughly 640,000 tons of these nets currently in our ocean. Just ghost nets alone account for 10 to 20 percent of the total plastic waste in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. So just how big is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? Well, that's a difficult question to answer because much of the debris floats under the surface. Some sources state that over 70% of the garbage ends up sinking to the ocean floor. Some sinks to the ocean floor because it's heavier, while certain types of plastic float and remain on the surface. Currently, the patch is bigger than the state of Texas and four times the size of France. One thing is for certain, this heap of floating rubbish is gigantic and growing bigger every day. Predictions state the amount of plastic in the world's ocean could triple by the year 2050 if nothing is done. Now let's discuss the effects of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. All this garbage, especially the discarded fishing nets and plastic items, presents a life-threatening risk to various marine animals. Creatures like seals, dolphins, and sea turtles get caught in the nets and drowned. Several bird species mistake small pieces of plastic for food and die. Additionally, researchers discovered that sea turtles around the patch were eating lots of plastic. The main problem with plastic is that it doesn't biodegrade. Biodegradable means that something can break down into natural parts. Those parts are carbon dioxide, water vapor, and organic material. Since plastic isn't biodegradable, it only breaks down into smaller pieces of plastic. In fact, many claim much of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is mostly tiny molecules of broken down plastic. So let's consider some solutions to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch problem. Is it possible to clean up this gigantic mess? One point of view is adamant that the answer is no. The sheer size of the patch creates a logistical nightmare. Mathematical models present dismal scenarios of how it would take dozens of ships working around the clock year after year to gather less than 1% of the total sum. There are other problems as well. Since this massive collection of garbage is out in the middle of the Pacific, no single nation wants to claim responsibility for it. That leaves it up to special interest groups to try and save our oceans. However, these groups often lack the funding and the resources to tackle a problem of this magnitude. So what's the answer to this ocean pollution? Many advocates push for solving the problem at the source and stop the pollution. Support stricter laws on recycling and reusing plastic materials. Some countries like Germany have banned single-use plastics and styrofoam. Organize cleanup efforts for a local river or beach. A little extra effort goes a long ways. Others are taking it further. Projects like the Ocean Cleanup, spearheaded by Dutch native Boyan Slat, are dedicated to cleaning up the patch. 
His organization uses innovative technology to not only clean up the Pacific Ocean, but the world's river systems as well. Another group, the Ocean Voyages Institute in Hawaii, brought in over 206,000 pounds of trash from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch from their collective efforts in 2020. Many people are wondering how we can stop ocean pollution. The answer to the problem like this is often unclear. It will remain the combined forces of recycling, reusing, and cleanup programs, innovative technology, and human ingenuity. Human spirit and determination have accomplished the impossible before. What can you do to help reduce the plastic pollution in our oceans? Thanks for watching our video. Please like and subscribe. And check out our channel for other sustainability education topics. Thank you.